Dobre vicher. Welcome to As the Blade Turns. It is Yadavid Spletnikov. And there is a new problem in the Terry Tuberiza's camp. Alyana Kasternaya will not perform at the Russian Championships. And this is actually the end of the international season for the 2020 European champion. 18-year-old Alyona has an injury, which the Federation reported earlier today, according to Match TV, a fracture of her hand, and she is forbidden to train for 20 days. David Spletnikov is in deep depression. Earlier this season, he met with coach and queen Eteri Tuberidza, a fellow Pisces, and he gave the coach just one set of instructions. Get Alyana Kosternaya to the Olympics. It is the first time Tudbridza has failed as greatly as when she lost to rival Alina Buyanova in the individual end at the Sochi Olympics. And while she likely felt a sting of such a loss in Sochi, we do not know whether she seems to understand a missed opportunity in Kosternaya, the most dramatic and perhaps histrionic skater since Oksana Bayul and Evgenia Medvedeva. They are the true Madonnas of figure skating. Perhaps Glykenhaus can stage an exhibition program with a cape or a straitjacket where the champion rises from the ashes and reclaims her place at center ice. And please bring the Tuberiza champions on ice tour to Brooklyn. While a skater may not be good for medals in international competition in the future, there is no need for Tuberiza to forgo her 40%. Medvedeva recently confirmed she can only jump triple tall loop and triple salco due to an inability to move her back. These are just little bit of problems. Yet Tudbaridze is still getting 40% of that good Ice Age money. And we are all thankful for the drama she brings to our lives each week. Medvedeva recently confirmed that she could perform an exhibition at the Russian Championships. As of yet... We do not know whether she would, because in true Genya fashion, she would not confirm nor deny whether she would perform. We can only hope that if she does, it will be a program involving Billie Eilish and some sort of straitjacket, and not some ballad about love choreographed by Dudbaridze. European champion Aljona Kosternaya declined to comment on the information about the injury when contacted by journalists. Earlier today, Match TV reported that the skater had a fracture of the hand. Alyona, can I ask you what happened? What kind of injury? I won't say anything. That is, journalists will again be accused of spreading rumors by the fans. Is it logical to ask you? You know best of all. I am not allowed to comment on anything, said Kosternaya. You see, Kosternaya is smart girl but perhaps not smart enough. Kosternaya didn't learn that when you aren't allowed to comment on injuries by Tudbaridze, no comment is different than I am not allowed to comment. Why did she not learn how to ghost from Genya? Yet this is the same girl who felt it appropriate to fight with her esteemed coach. There is an old saying in Russia, Iyo glavne vrag ete iyo izik. Her main enemy is her tongue. And while the same could be said about your dear David Spletnikov and perhaps Genia Medvedeva herself, David has an active YouTube channel. As of yet, Kosternayas has only been announced. Editor's note, staying with Ruthovskaya would probably have been better for developing her YouTube career, like she's doing with that this and that knockoff with Elena Rodionova. And also... What happened to wanting to be a brain surgeon? Well, the head of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, Alexander Gorshkov, spoke about the withdrawal of the European champion Alyona Kosternaya from the Russian championship due to a fracture of the hand. We have no right to publish the diagnosis. Oh, suddenly Russia is so concerned with HIPAA, yet they don't have an FDA. I must say, my coach Igor Lukanen told me, Dave, if you want to get cold cream in America, it's maybe a little bit cool. You want to get cold cream in Russia, it is like ice. Well, he also continued. Kosternaya's chances for the Olympics if she skips the nationals, Niznail. The news about Oyona's injury has just come, 
so I can't say anything yet. Earlier, it became known that Kosternaya had a fracture of the hand. Tudoriza has clamped down on all injuries this season. We never hear news about what is the injury, what is the diagnosis. She is the, the favorite supporter of HIPAA. She loves America and she loves their rules about non-disclosure in healthcare. We have yet to receive the official word on any of the injuries of Sherbakova, what kind of surgery Sherbakova had over the surgery, Alexander Trusova or Daria Usashova. Kosternaya's injury is the fifth major injury for Team Dudberidze in the last six months, as Daniil Samsonov also withdrew from the Russian Championships earlier today. Honored coach of the Russian Federation, Alexander Zhulin spoke about the removal of European champion Alyona Kosternaya from the Russian Championship due to a fracture of the hand. It's a pity that Alyona Kosternaya will have to miss the Russian Championship due to injury. Will this affect the preparation for the Olympics? So far, everything is very bad for Alyona. I think that any additional selection and exclusion in the form of control rentals is impossible. I don't want to asso associate the injuries of Dudbridze's wards with each other and look for some kind of tendency in this. A series of injuries at Hrustalny is more likely a will of chance. You know... Sasha Zhulin has been a true friend and ally to Tudberidze this season. After they paid him to choreograph a program for Tarasova and Morozov, he has done his best supporting her in the media and persuading his beloved and loyal judges to aid daughter Diana Davis on her climb from the ice dance gutter to the Olympic podium. President of the Center for Sports and Education, of Sambo 70, Renat Lyshev, a true president of the House of Injuries, commented on information about the withdrawal of the European champion Alyona Kosternaya from the Russian championship due to injury. Of course, it hurts my heart from such news. I'm very worried about all the athletes, and it is especially insulting for our dear Alyona. It is such a pity that there is no triumphant return home, but this is his majesty's sport. No one is insured. I don't know why this happened. Maybe she overdid it somewhere, and the coaching staff did not overlook. But all athletes go through this. It will be very difficult for Alyona to emotionally survive this moment. Can she end her career after what happened? Everything is possible. But I believe in the best. Let Alyona come back even stronger, said Lyshev. We appreciate that Lyshev knows that it is always the athlete's fault for pushing too hard. When my coach tells me to shut up and squeeze teeth, they're only speaking with love. Honored coach of the USSR Tatiana Tarasova commented on the information about the withdrawal of the European champion Alyana Kosternaya from the Russian championship due to injury. Earlier, it became known that the athlete had a fracture of the hand. It is a pity. Will the Russian championship lose a lot because of her absence? No, I will not say that. It's just a pity. Tarasova's ward Olympic champion Natalia Besmianova commented on the information about the withdrawal of Kosternaya from the Russian championship. It's a pity that this happened. I wish her good health. For Alyona, this is very bad. This injury puts an end to her chances of getting to the Olympics. She dropped out of the race. Somehow, 2012 world silver medalist Oyona Leonova, who always answers when sports.ru comes calling so we don't forget her, felt the need to gaslight the public. Injuries are always bad. It all depends on the severity. Let's hope Oyona will recover quickly and return to the ice. I can't say that due to the absence of Kosternaya, the fight at the Russian championship will be less interesting. We have someone to watch for. The intrigue remains. How sensitive. I wonder how Alyona will be selected for further competitions. Usually for athletes of this level who are in the top, additional control rentals are arranged. Tell me please, Leonova, have you seen a clean triple axel from Kosternaya this season? Well, she continued. The coaching staff will analyze the situation, the results of the skates at the Russian championship, and see who will get the third ticket 
to the European Championship. It's too early to say anything. Aljona still has some chances for the Olympic Games. Well, Olympic silver medalist, choreographer and noted producer, and lover of every tragedy and holocaust, Ilya Averbuk was more blunt. Silver medalist of the 2002 Games, Ilya Averbuk commented on the information about the withdrawal of European champion Aljona Kasternaya from the Russian Championship due to injury. I would like, of course, to sympathize with Eljona and say words of support to her. This is a very big test for her and her sports career. Unfortunately, none of the athletes is immune from such stories. The Russian Championship is practically the culmination of the season. Well, the reporter said, now they will probably start talking about the imminent end of her career. Aljona is still very young, and she definitely shouldn't give up. She's a real talent, the one about which they say talented. This year she has had good performances. She showed decent results. It remains to wish her good luck and the desire to fight. Does her elimination add to the arguments in favor of holding test skates after the Europeans? I don't see any logic to having test skates in this regard. Our main favorites to get to the Olympics at the end of the first half of the season were objectively Volieva, Shcherbakova, Trusova, and Dugdamisheva. Alyona, after all, was not included in this four, judging by the results at the Grand Prix. What is there to talk about? said Averbuk. Three time Olympic champion Arina Rodnina commented on the information that came out earlier today. This is a woman who is such a fighter and such a bitch that even Tarasova no longer speaks to her. That's all. The train has left. A good girl as an athlete. Pretty. But what do you want? I never express regret. Because there is a stupid expression. Sport is sport. But it exists and means the ability to take a punch. Pass between injuries. The personal work of a coach with an athlete and each individual. This is a feature of working in sports, whether we want it or not. As an athlete, I could leave any training session, not just losing the opportunity to compete, but disabled. And as a coach, I could leave every workout without the athletes with whom I worked for a long, long time. I am afraid of the word talent. But Kosternaya has abilities. It seemed to me that she was more inclined towards figure skating than anyone else. And appearance, and figure, and technique. She skated, not jumped. And her skating had amazing jumps and spins. Why do I say it was? Because now she has an injury. I would like to see all this from her further. I hope she will recover. We always say that age is ridiculous, but we ourselves drive our athletes when we say that they have only one opportunity to realize themselves, to drop into the Olympic Games before the age of 17, Rodnina said. Spletnikov would like to point out, Kosternaya is currently 18 years old. Now there are rumors Kosternaya will now skate another season. And for the sake of the interest of the skating lesson, I certainly hope so. It certainly seems that Team Tudbridze is now deciding when the skaters will take a pause. It's reminiscent of earlier this year, when we learned that Dina and Arina Averna were to appear on Ice Age, before Arina Alexandrovna Wiener called them back to training. It has also been speculated that Team Tudbridze will call Daria Usashova back to training. They will need a healthy supply of seniors next season, as Akatieva is too young and Hromich is not talented enough. And Akatieva is also perhaps too good too early. Hromich doesn't have this problem. But Trosian is actually the one the coaches are attaching their future hopes. Meanwhile, when the rhythmic gymnasts are expired, Wiener allegedly sends them off with cars, apartments and wealthy husbands, in order to leave the competition floor and aboard embarrassment for the coach. Tudbridze's connections are not yet so established. 
though she did get young Aljona Kanisheva a coaching job after her foray into ice dance did not work out. The young skater only lasted one junior rental with Team Tudbridze. Recently, Dmitry Soloviev was recently so bold as to state that he thinks Kamila Valieva may retire after the Olympics due to reaching her peak. And while we all thought it, Dima said it. Camila recently confirmed that she has grown five centimeters since last season. Interestingly, while Dima was giving such interviews about others, he would not confirm his own retirement until after the new year, as though we did not know. In other news, Brady Tunnell was recently at the Skating Club of Boston with choreographer and lover of black and white, Benoit Richaud. He was running her program without jumps three times in a row, short program two times. Unfortunately, Tanel has not been jumping due to an ankle injury for the last several months. We also learned that the president of the Russian Figure Skating Federation, Alexander Gorshkov, said that the Russians did not put forward a proposal to the International Skating Union Congress to allow quadruple jumps in the short program for women. And yet we should note that if we will read Sports.ru in the future, Every commentator like Tarasova, like Averbuk, like Julin, they will state what bullshit it is. That their skaters are not allowed. That this is a force against Russia. That we are trying to hurt Russia. That we are afraid of Russia. That we hate Russia. And this is why we do not allow them to jump quads in the short program. We have already submitted such an offer in 2019. But unfortunately, it did not pass in the technical committee. We have no new proposals for this Congress. We can also report that Alexander Trusova has returned to training, yet she was only jumping one quad due to injury. It is suspected she will need at least two quads to pass to Tmisheva at Russian Nationals. Uh, Yona Kasernaya was actually training her triple axel so much to beat Tuk Tmisheva, with whom they threatened her if she did not pass her at the Grand Prix final, she would be out of Rustal Knee. But now she may be out of Rustal Knee after working on such a triple axel. As for Trusova, the judges do have eyes when it comes to her crossovers, and Empress Tukdemisheva has become a true fan favorite this season. Olympic champion Oleg Vasiliev recently talked about his admiration for Lisa in the most Russian way possible. Lisa is generally a unique skater. She could have won absolutely everything in the last Olympic cycle, but she lost in the little things because of the lack of appropriate attention to training, to competitions, to her shape. For me, Tukta Misheva is a woman of mystery. The abilities are colossal. Great talent. Learning multi-rotational jumps in adulthood is a very difficult task. Until puberty, pubertat, girls as a rule are not afraid. It doesn't hurt. They simply do not perceive it. With age, the attitude changes. You clearly understand what you are going to do and how it could end. But Lisa did it. This once again speaks of her uniqueness and originality. Perhaps it depends too much on the mood. I don't know. But every time I can't get rid of the thought that Tuk Demisheva does not realize half of her capabilities on the ice. Well, if you have read the news recently, with all of these injuries and talk about Team Dudberidze and these injuries and this coach Terry Dudberidze too tough. Her good angel girls have had to come out in the press and support her. Good girl, Anna Sherbakova, a true Angeloka, recently gave an interview where she was sure to praise her coach. She was asked about who inspires and influences her. If we talk about figure skating, of course, first of all, this is a Terry Kyorkievna Tudberidze. In sports, it is always important to listen to the authority of the coach. Oh, what an angel. My parents support me in the training process, but they cannot give a professional assessment of what I do. If only Kostarnaya had given such interviews. Notice how Glykenhaus has said absolutely nothing about this injury. Sherbakova continued, There are the athletes, perhaps people outside of sports who can inspire me in a given situation, but I cannot name anyone specific. Yuzuru Hanyu is one of them. 
there are skaters who are just great like Nathan Chen. I am not comparing them to each other. They are so unique that no one loses in this comparison. I also like Bo Yang Jin and Yuma Kagiyama, very interesting skaters. In ice dance, I especially like Gabriel Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron. Interesting, Tuberiza also likes this couple very, very much. At the Grand Prix in don't tell Julian. At the Grand Prix in Italy, I took a picture with them for the first time, and I'm very happy about that. As for women, I always liked Mausada when I was little. I, I liked how she skated, jumped, and put it all together. I looked at Yulia Lipnitskaya. I believe that her program, Schindler's List, is one of the best programs in the world of figure skating. I can list many more skaters I followed or follow. They all somehow inspired me. Now, Splitnikov will tell you this is one smart girl, as she has just ensured invitations to shows with Hanyu, shows with IMG in Japan and China, perhaps an invitation to Art on Ice, and an invitation to all future television programs produced by Ilya Averbuk. And if all else fails, perhaps there is always coaching at Angels of Plushenka with Ludnitskaya. Kamila Valieva, also one of the loyal and good girls of Team Duberidza, recently gave an interview where she was sure to praise her coach and assert her own dominance. You know, she said about jumping quadruple jumps, about how good Team Duberidza is. We have a younger group where almost everyone is already jumping quads. And this is the 2009 year of birth. Even 2011 is already starting to jump. It is clear that they are all thin and slender. But there is a moment that transitional age will begin, when no matter whether you want it or not, you gain weight. You grow, and it will be difficult with all of this. Because at first you don't understand at all why you are doing the same, but it's not enough. Why are you doing triples and it's so hard for you? I cannot answer for whom is easier. Each has their own way. Well, Camila, who is the most influential person for you? Probably me, because if I set myself up correctly, then no one will be able to knock me down or unsettle me somehow. Therefore, I believe that it's me. Who inspires you? Eteri Georgievna is very inspiring, because she will always find exactly those moments in your skating where you need to improve. And she will say such a thing that I hear from her for the first time in four years of working with her. For example, she will say a new thought about your program, and you listen and understand. Yes, that's what I lacked. And what is your philosophy, your motto? Just work. Work a lot. Work to the limit. More. Better. And it will lead to good attempts. And then your task is to transfer everything to the ice. As Arena Wiener says, if they said no, then we will say yes. That is, if you really work, then at the competitions, you will do what you have worked on. Well, this is a good girl, not like our beloved Kosternaya, our beloved bad girl of figure skating, whom we love more than life itself, whom we all love, even Dudberidze loves. Perhaps Glykenhaus not so much, but we love her more, more, more. And David Spletnikov will be here through the Olympic season to just work. Work a lot, work the limit, more, better. And it will lead to more editions of As the Blade Turns on the Skating Lesson. Please subscribe and pray for the health of Olyona Kostrinaya. Spasiba, baka.